Heat TV presents Homework Hotline, the after-school show that fuses learning with fun. Watch local teachers bring the classroom on air and online. This is Homework Hotline. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. I'm Ken Pinkerton. I'm a retired science teacher from Zane Middle School. And my name is Rita McConaughey. I'm a math specialist with Northern United Humboldt Charter School, and you're watching Homework Hotline. Welcome. So on Tuesday, we uh, focused on apples and varieties of apples and kind of the history of apples a little bit. And so today, we thought we'd do something with those apples. Yes, so. and what's more special than making apple pie? Woohoo! <laughs> so we're so. <laughs> and we're and we've got the special set. We're on the baking set of uh, we're on the East Campus of uh, Keat TV. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we're here on the baking set, which is really With cool. With a nice so, pasture in the yeah, background. The background. Okay. So there, right, it's, it's, we mowed the fields. It's been hay. So um, so you might hear a, a little bit of a hum. So not only are we making apple pie, but we're going to make well in process of making some ice cream so we can have pie a la mode mm -hmm. and so it's turning it on the inside here it's heavy whipping cream milk um, sugar and then i realized i did not add some vanilla so mm -hmm. is this mm -hmm. vanilla yes okay charity brought that down so, just so oh awesome i have almond extract but mm -hmm. we're going to mm -hmm. use vanilla to finish off so now in the outside of that really cool ice cream maker this is chilled yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. This base I put in the freezer, and then it's super chilled on the inside. And so as it's turning, it'll end up making, making a frozen. Nice. So all the little mixture. the the uh, cream and stuff is turning into very 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 small crystals, and oh. so then we get ice cream, which is wonderful. So it's awesome. All right. So. And then, so very small, meaning like that's what makes it smooth? Yeah. Okay. And then sometimes you'll notice that if you leave ice cream, never happens at my house, but if you leave ice cream in the refrigerator too long, it kind of gets kind of a funny texture, and that's because it's thawing out and, and the crystals are getting bigger. Crystals, um, okay. So and then I think like gelato is super, super, super. That's um, why it's so smooth. Smooth is the crystals are, are very, very, very tiny, so. It's pretty neat. So. Well, I'm excited for the ice cream. That'll be at the end to top our pie. So right. we have pie a la mode. So we tried to come up with a recipe that uh, would be very friendly for you to make at home uh, with minimum ingredients and, and uh, minimum cost, hopefully. And so uh, we came up with one from a kid's website. Right. Um, and so it, it just calls for uh, apples. It's at eight large apples, a uh, third cup of, of sugar, two tablespoons of flour. And now why would you add flour in, into that? Well, probably to help thicken it up. Yeah, make it thicker because sometimes mm -hmm. they're real juicy. And some cinnamon, and we also have um, vanilla some extract. vanilla to make it. So we're gonna peel the apples. So the, the, the apple peels tend through. to be, uh, don't, they don't cook, they don't break down very well. So we're gonna peel some. So I brought my old um, apple peeler. Oh, but first, Two things. I wanted to show you that uh, we talked about um, apples are in the rose family. So this is a, um, a rose from a rose bush that's already flowered. And you might have heard of rose hips. And so on the bottom of a rose flower is this, uh, they swell up. And sometimes they can be giant uh, or quite big. I've seen them you know, like an inch across. And, and those are comparable to the, the apple. So apple would sit this way. And so the, remember the flower's right there. And um, so that kind of shows the comparison between the two. And because it's heavy, it tends to go this way. All over. And then the other thing I wanted to do is uh, we talked about oxidation. You might have, you know, if you take a bite uh, of an apple and leave it for very long, it turns brown. Um, so I'm going to cut this one in half. And on half of it, we'll put lemon juice. And on ha the other half, we'll just leave it as our control. So right now, okay. if you want to... Do right now, it's, they're both nice and light colored. Okay. You, and you want to put it on this one? Okay. Could I use this? No. Sure. Okay. Or whatever you want to so do. So pour it on top here. Yeah, or just okay. 
pour it on there and then we'll, we'll kind of coat okay. it. And, and so this so is our experiment. Yeah, Lemon yeah. juice on this one and hopefully and then nothing it won't on brown. This one. Right, so we're going to okay. try and pop that one. Okay, and then I'll just put them here in the middle. Um, so again, the one on... Rita side Rita is, side lemon is juice. juiced. Should we put the lemon juice by it? Yeah, the container? Well, that's a good idea. Then and we then we'll put these other ones over here on the side. And then uh, we'll start peeling. Okay. okay. So I'll... You have a really This is an fancy, old, old one. Yeah, old this one. is from the, okay. I think the 1800s. It's kind of got some, and then we'll compare it to yours <laughs> to see if it works, works or not. So this one reminds me of a, it makes the sounds like a, a roller coaster. Okay, and it takes a couple passes. Wow, that's really cool how it goes around. Yeah, it goes around. It does, and it's years. supposed to pop it off, but that part got broken. Um, and then we've got this cool apple uh, wedger. We have a wedger, so we'll try that. Okay. Now, when I was going through this recipe, it talked about that you want your apple slices to be a certain thickness uh -huh. or thinness more so than thick because they'll shrink right and if they're smaller and they are touching closer together you'll have less shrinkage oh cool because you're filling the pie up more and then also the smaller they are the cooker they quick and the drier out they get oh, okay so just got to be aware of that because the um so yesterday in preparation um my granddaughter grace came over and we made a pie at our house she and my wife and and we made the, the pieces pretty big, and uh, so it's kind of a crunchy pie. The one we had last night was kind of crunchy, so we must have maybe made it too, too big of pieces. So I'll cut this even thinner. Okay, so how old do you think that apple slice or apple peeler uh, I think was? it's 75 or so years old. Okay, so let's see how this will look okay, on, let's compare yours. on camera. Right. So this one is about 20 years old, but same style. It has a place to peel here, a place to core it. It's going to go through here at the center. And then also it has a place to slice it. So while you're chopping yours up into smaller pieces, hopefully mine will do it all at once. All at once. Yours does a, a coil. There we go. Okay, so I take this off, and I've got it peeled it <laughs> for me. That's great. So well, let's use yours. Thin. <laughs> for, let's use mine for the pie. Let's, let's use yours. Could I borrow your knife though? Yeah. Okay. Can we, we use the ones that I have already, or do you want to start over? Uh, well, I would hate to waste them. I'm sure they'll still be good. Okay. Well, let's start over. You want to start well, over? I'll set them okay. over here just in case we need them for bulk. Okay, okay. so we don't need the core. I'm going to take that yep. and set it to the side. I'll put those there. And here's a knife. Uh, there you go. And then I need a couple more apples. Okay. Thank you. So right now they're in um, circles, right? Yeah. But I want to take and slice them in half. Do you think I should leave the seeds in? Probably not, huh? Yeah. All right. Did you look up, are there five seeds in every apple? I think there are. Okay. There, there's like the petals and uh, like on this um, rose, they, they have five petals. Gotcha. So I think that there are they're, uh, multiples okay. of. Do you remember, is it eight apples we need or four? Um, it said eight. Eight. But we okay. can just keep going until uh, All right. we think we have enough. I'll plug in my my better one too. Oh, you're gonna do some too. Yes. Okay, perfect. So there it goes. Oops. <laughs> I forgot to put the peeler part on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do over. This, yes. Go. This apple that is one goes gonna to be the eaten that later. One that one goes to the goats. Whoops. Okay. I'll wash this one off. We're going to peel them anyway, so. Yeah, peel that one. Okay. Yeah. So there's a couple other things you can make with apples besides apple pie. 
I often make apple crisp, mm -hmm. a little bit different. It's like pie on the bottom and then maybe oatmeal on top. Oatmeal, brown sugar. So it's got kind of a top crust. Then. Yep, like a top crust. Okay. I'm gonna grab another. Now, are these also from Clendenin's? Uh, these came from my yard. Oh, okay. So I think these are all um, kings, I believe. So we'll see how they do for... We made pies last night, and uh, they were pretty good, so... Okay, so I'll do one more, and then how many have you done? Four? Um, three. Three? Okay, yeah, so I if you do one more, too. This is a fun activity to do together. If you have a way to easily peel the apples and slice them, or if you have to do like what Tim or Ken is doing over there with the knife and slice them. Either way, the apples, you want to try them to be about the same size. Thin is better, but definitely not too thin. Right. Okay, go, go, ahead. go for it. All right. I think we need a couple more. Okay. All right, ready? I hope that ice cream's getting thick, because that's going to be good on top of our pie afterwards. Oh, we could have a race. That was. <laughs> and mine has the that mechanism too, but I okay. de detached it unwisely. So, and you can just—you don't need a fancy peeler. They're just more fun. I think the peels are really cool. Yeah, they are. So and. The coil, right? So mm -hmm. the, the math of uh, of that. So okay. What oh, do you think? Are you we want getting me there? Do one more. Or you? I'll do one more. It's okay. Pretty easy to do it. Okay. So apples, and this recipe calls for a little bit of flour, huh? To be on the inside. Yeah, if we, if we want. So and the, like you said, sometimes I. Um, um, I've seen people put cornstarch in too. Right. If you have some apples are very very juicy, um, so like we talked about on Tuesday, some are are known as really good baking apples. Right. And part of that is that they're not real juicy; that they they uh, they still maintain their firmness, but they but they um, they don't make a lot of fluid. Oops, that goes over here. All right. So I think we're. Can I borrow your knife? Oh yeah. Sorry. Please. I forgot you had all of those. I just have to cut them so that they're... I'm going to take that one out then. Well, if we compare time-wise, we did about the same, didn't yeah. we? All right, uh, I'm going to go to, uh, since you're cutting that up. Sure. Um, so this is Rita's, and it's got the lemon juice on it. And then um, compare it to that one. Um, is it getting browner? Yeah, so we have a lot of oxidation. So the oxygen is reacting with the, the sugar... Um, on the apple and it's turning it brown and over here that it's pretty virtually very little a little bit a little bit of oxidation that's in there, an so. amazing difference yeah so, so i know when you make um fruit salads commonly mm -hmm. um you put lemon juice in or or if you're you make it with oranges i'll give us a bigger bowl um if you make it with with oranges or a citrus then it automatically there's a bigger bowl for us i think Okay. Yep, more room to wow. do stuff. The cool thing also about making apple pie <coughs> is you have a you can use a variety of apples. Yes. You don't have to use just the same kind. Okay, let me make sure there's no seeds in here. Yeah. All right. And then we need uh, a third cup of sugar. Sugar, All right? Okay. Use this guy to get a third cup. Just go around the. Uh huh. Okay. Apples aren't sweet enough. You need. We need to add sugar. Yes, I think okay. that's a part of it. And then also, it's a thickener too. It's in that make it a little bit thicker. Okay. And then cinnamon. You got a okay. tablespoon of cinnamon. Definitely need cinnamon. You want to estimate a tablespoon there? So. Tablespoon. Yes. Um, I'm going to take the lid off okay. of that. 
Ooh, it smells good. Oh, it does. I love cinnamon. Me too. Although I think you can have too much cinnamon if you, at some <laughs> point. And it even, uh, um, if you're lucky, you have some left over and then just apples, fresh apples coated with sugar and, and cinnamon, cinnamon is a nice treat too, so. Do you have a lid? I do. Okay. All right, anything else before I and mix then this? And vanilla, a little bit of vanilla. Okay. And you don't need vanilla, it's just a luxury that we had um, since we're there. Like a teaspoon? It's a teaspoon of, or, um, of cinnamon, yes. Vanilla? Or vanilla, sorry. <laughs> okay. So we forgot our measuring cups, so we're eyeballing it today, so. All right. And Rita's an excellent cook, so she can, she can do this. I'm gonna if pull you've this done, one out. If you've done the right. recipe a couple times, you know, maybe not having to measure so precisely right. or accurately, um, precisely would be the right word. Remember the difference between accurate and preci precise? Precision is a, precision is more more accurate, right? Precision is smaller, like more detailed of a measurement. Right. Like if you add decimal places behind it, yeah. accurate is how close to the actual it's supposed to be. Okay. So when you eyeball your measurements, you want it to be accurate, but it's not a precise way. But if you're building something. I see. Like it. out of wood, you want to be very precise, right? Yes. Something like that. So. The other thing is, baking is a science. Like, mm -hmm, when this is. pie may not turn out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that's, you practice. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's the, that, it's kind of, I always, the scientific method is, is cooking. Basically, you have an idea of what you want to do. So you try to find an experiment and, and then, Maybe next time we'd say, well, well, let's add some more vinegar, or not vinegar, mm -hmm. <laughs> more, more vanilla, um, or more sugar, and, and then we can all, yeah, and then mm -hmm. you, that's how you, you find fa favorite recipes, too, so. So pie recipes, like making a pie crust from scratch, a lot of people, t it takes years for, for, to perfect their yeah. pie crust recipe. Right. We're using a store-bought pie crust. So we're gonna do that. Now, yeah. do I just pour it in yeah. here? Yeah, pour it okay. into one of those, I think. And we probably have more than we need. This is kind of a small. Well, but remember the pie, the apples are gonna shrink. Right, right, so we wanna go. And this is just a, 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 a commercial, um, already ready-made uh, pie crust, and they come in pairs, um, two of them. So you can either make two, or if you wanna make a crust, uh, an upper crust, then that's what we do. And I washed my hands, so we're... Uh, okay, thank you. So <laughs> I can pile it on and you'll catch it? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, right. I think I'll stop. Do you want me yep, to put the we'll juice in stop. there? No, oh. I think we'll, we'll wait. Okay. So are we going to put this one on top? Yep. Okay. Is, it, is there a scientific way to do it? No, I think <laughs> just go for it. I'll go watch you. It? Okay. <laughs> you'll watch me? Yes. I've got a little fork if you want to maybe... I'll, or I'll work okay. on one side. Are we done with this guy? Yes. And we're going to move that off to the side. Okay. I'll put it down here. Ooh. All right. Ooh, that's working. Is it working? Oh, all right. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to put that there. So what do we call it when we um, press the... We're crimping. Right? Crimping. So we're crimping. can we see it on the TV? Yeah. This is... Some people get very specific about oh, yeah. it. But it's basically, I'm connecting the two doughs together. Right. Do you like the crust on pie? I do. All right. My do wife you, makes really good Do crust. I need to make them smaller? I I, I'm kind of liking it. I like it too. And then one of the things we're going to do too is um, we're going to make lots of steam. Remember, those apples are, have a huge amount of water in them. Okay. So uh, we're going to make some holes in the... Uh, in the Okay. So, it can go so out. maybe it doesn't look professional, nope. but it's definitely crimped together. Right. So steam. I have the knife. Is that what okay. you want? Yep. Okay. Should we make five slits yeah, in it? That sounds good. Since to show the five five parts of the apple. That's okay. Good. And is this um, all we need? Just a I few think that's slits? it. Okay. Except for the oven. All right. Now, some recipes say to top it with an egg wash. Right. And then other recipes also say to put aluminum foil over right. the top of it. 
different ones. Or, so the crust or, doesn't or get too. Or you put it around here so it doesn't get uh, that, yeah. that too, too much to cook. And then you pop it in the oven for what, 350 for I think 20 minutes? I didn't, and we'll see okay, what comes out of so the oven. Okay, so after this is in the oven, I'm gonna set this one over here. Oh, look how pretty. And then this one is one, and we didn't fill this one quite as much, so it, it didn't bake down, but this is the before and the after. And then okay. we'll, and we'll get to try this. <laughs> so a couple things. When you bring the pie out of the oven, you don't want to cut into it right away. Right. You want to let it sit at least four hours, right. especially on an apple pie because it gets thicker. Mm -hmm. The pectin. Pectin, right. Yeah. Okay. So definitely yeah. pectin. And apples have a lot of pectin in it. Right. right. Yeah, whenever you're making other pies or, or like jellies, you put pectin in. And actually, I think pectin comes from apples, that, that it's a... Uh, it's a, uh, a chemical that makes things thicker. And so that's why without it, your, your jams and jellies might not... Did we add jelly. flour to the apples? We didn't. We did not. No, we didn't. Okay, so but I don't know. I think it'll be okay. We just let the pie sit right. longer because the pectin, as it cools and changes its molecular structure... Right. Right? Yep. It'll become much thicker. So what, shall okay. we cut so this we one over? Be okay. Yeah. Here, let and me then make how's a the, space. Uh, how's our ice cream coming? Our ice cream is still churning. I don't oh. know if we'll have frozen ice cream by the time the show is done. We might have to eat it afterwards. We might have to eat <laughs> it afterwards. Okay, so we're ready to cut into Can it. We cut it. I have a, a pie slicer if we okay. want to use that. So I got plates. Oh, that's nice. And like, and then w w our emphasis has been on the, that you can do this at home. Um, the uh, the crusts you can go buy a crust at any store, basically. Um, some people, like Rita said, th um, there's a lot of people who who very much so pride themselves in how wonderful their their crusts are. It got quiet all of a sudden. It did. Because my timer went off, but if I look over at my ice cream, it's not not it's completely not. thick yet. So I'm going to start the timer up in okay. just a little bit. Okay, okay, so I see your apples are a little bit thicker, right? Yeah, yeah these did. So, and then, so these are still a little bit on the crunchy side. Let me come over and show. So that's our sliced apples, and I can actually open it up. Here, you want another one? And we'll try. Sure. Let me see if I can add five more minutes. Okay. So okay, another slice? Yes. Okay. I should have brought whipped cream instead. Oh, okay. We've kind of got whipped cream. <laughs> Over there. I guess we could use cold cream. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> or we could wait. So, so that's uh, apple pie. Um, so it's as, as simple as pie as they did, or how about them apples is, uh, is the way it would go. So. Okay, are you going to taste your apple yeah, pie? Yeah, I'm going to taste my okay. apple pie. So. so you said your apples were a little bit thicker, mm -hmm. and so then they're not as soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you happy with it, though? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to wait till I have a little bit of cream to Ooh, put okay. on it. Okay, so I want to show a couple more things about okay. apples. Let's see if... So this is a typical pie, right? Typical so, pie. So yep. a pie has a, um, a bottom crust. Mm -hmm. Put my mask back on. So a bottom crust and, and sometimes a top crust. And you can get very fancy. You can do the, the cross crusts and all of those things. So remember how I said that sometimes it takes a while, a couple tries, maybe even years to get the right pie crust mm -hmm. figured out. Um, pie crust a lot of times has butter in it. Uh -huh. oh, what yeah. else would you make? Um, and a lot of people put lard or uh, Crisco or something like that in it. So okay. I know that... Um, um, we did the steam vent, so that was good. Serving temperature is important. We talked about that because you need to let the pie sit for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. You have to okay. be patient. At least four <laughs> hours. Longer right. it sits, the thicker it'll get. Right. Okay. But some people like their pie warmed up. Right. right before they put their ice cream or whipped cream on it. But that's allowed, you, you want it to sit for those four hours so it it gels and then when you heat it up it doesn't get as liquidy as it might be or it'll right. absorb it. So. so when we cut into our pie here, let me take this piece out, 
there was no extra juice that ran into yeah. here. And so if you cut it too soon, right. before it has time to cool and thicken, then you'll have like lots of juice and nobody likes soggy crust, do right. they? No. Here, we'll go like this. That's a little bit easier. Mm, yeah. Okay, do you like soggy crust? No. No, okay. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> With ice cream on it, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. right. So. Okay, and we talked about the slice structure. Mm -hmm. And then you could add different ingredients to it, like you could add maybe nuts to it. Right. To add some protein. Um, okay? Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I wanted to show one more picture, all the different like these, yeah. other things we could do. So I don't know if you've ever heard of a brown Betty. Yeah. We've made those. Okay. And it's, uh, so what's the difference between, so it says a brown betty is sweetened fruit baked with uh, layers of butter, ooh, and crumbs of butter. So yeah, so it's kind of like a lasagna of fruit. Nice. Nice. And then a buckle, I hadn't heard of no, that one. I've never one. heard of that. So you pour cake batter cake over Cake batter food. over ooh, apples. That seems kind of like, like an apple cake. Yeah. A cobbler. Oh, I love cobbler. Very similar to a crisp, but I like the cobbler because it's, um, I like peach cobbler, actually. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I yeah. would do apple. Okay. Um, another one, a crumble and a crust, very similar. So lots of different ideas yeah. other than just making right, pie. pie. So, yeah, and then so I think the difference between a lot of the crusts is, is it, don't you add more butter to, to it? And then so the, the fat, the fat and the, the butter in mm -hmm. interacts with the carbohydrates and you get that neat textures. And one last thing for the apples is I was, I found this fact about it. And it's like when you bite into an apple and it's crunchy, it's kind of like how bubble wrap would pop. Oh yeah. So the air pockets in bubble wrap are like individual <laughs> cells <laughs> in an apple. So next time you have some um, air bubbles to pop, you can also think it's about like eating an apple. Micro, micro. <laughs> right. And so if an apple has the air bubbles, mm -hmm. right? Then it's crispier, More crispy. but yeah. if those air bubbles have collapsed, right. then it's going to yeah, be a yeah, mushier yeah. Right. apple. Or then if they have a stronger cell wall, so um, that's probably part of it too. So, okay. so cool. How is our brown apple looking compared okay. to oh, our lemon compared. one? Oh, that's going to be a good so I'm indicator. Bring it back up and uh, I'm aiming it at camera two, I think. Camera or, or, no, camera one. I'm going to aim at. Okay. Um, and, wow. Oh, so you can really see a difference between the two. So this has the uh, lemon Nothing's on Nothing's wrong with it though. No, I could, we could still eat it. Right. Tastes fine. It's just going to look Yeah, it's different. all visuals. So so that's why you put uh, lemon juice on, on especially uh, sugary fruits and things like that to make them look pretty since, since people like prettier foods definitely so. so. Well, so this has been great. So try it at home. I'm hoping that you'll be able to do that. So I'm Ken Fingerton. And I'm Rita McConaughey. We and played with apples right. today. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Go out there and eat some apples. Go pick some apples. Go I pick some apples.